Let's make social media covers with our brand kit. Here's Erin to walk us through it. Right now I'm on the signed in homepage and I'm gonna go up to the top left and click brand kit. Here you'll see everything that I've already previously saved. You'll see logos, color palettes, which you can have several different kinds. There's templates that I've created, fonts that I've saved, and of course, graphics here at the bottom. Now, what I wanna to do today is go back to the signed in homepage. I just clicked the logo at the top left, and I want to work on a Twitter banner that I started. So I'm just gonna click on that, edit image, and I want to just add a couple more things to this. And in the meantime, show you how the brand kit elements follow me around in PicMonkey on various palettes. So to start, I'm gonna add a logo to this design. I'm gonna scoot this up because I'm gonna wanna put it right here. If I click on graphics, you'll notice that we have brand graphics saved right at the top. So here you can see logo and graphics, which we saw on the previous screen. I know that this one is a white circle that I'm gonna use as a background behind my logo. So I'm just gonna grab that and put that underneath my copy. And it drags into the center and lines up, which is great. Now I'm gonna add my logo, make that small enough to fit in the circle and then I'm just going to select everything so that it is centered. Um, what I want to do now is show how you can look at your brand color palettes and how they follow you around. So if I wanted to change the color of this here at the bottom, maybe I thought it was too much red, I can do that. I can grab a color from my autumn campaign maybe, if it was autumn. Um, or I can just bring it back to the red, like so. Also, if I wanted to add more text, like how I added this original text here, all I am gonna do is go to the text button at the top and then I looked at the subhead subhead in Forta. It's already stylized exactly how I like it. So maybe I'm just gonna add my website. And so now that I have that created, what I wanna do is use smart resize so I can turn a Twitter header into a Facebook cover or an Etsy banner quickly. So I have this already all set up. I have it saved in my hub under brand new. And so I'm going to just click smart resize. I want to make this an Etsy big banner. So I click that and it automatically resizes. I'm going to click copy and resize so that it creates a new file. And then I want to work on my new image that I just created. So here we are. I'm just going to adjust a couple things. So now we say we see that it's called Twitter header Etsy shop big banner. So I'm just gonna delete that. So now it's just saved in my hub. It's under brand and new where the other one is saved. And so we're good to go. I wanna go look at that folder. So I'm gonna go back to the logo and it says pick monkey hub. Here's that folder that I created things in. And oh wait, it's in brand and then it's new, sorry. So you can see, here's my Twitter header, here's my white circle I created earlier, here's my Etsy shop big banner, and that's where they all saved. Here's where I saved some other items, all in one easy spot.
Thank you, Aaron, and thanks for watching. Be sure to visit us at pickmonkey.com.